up your YouTube, search for Stupid Meadows, watch on your big screen. Or another device if you're at home. Get yourself comfy, this could take a while. What a happy scene. Something new every day for your long term memory. This is so exciting, it is nearly time for a Stupid Assembly. I'm, I'm gonna go with the hands. I'm gonna go with the hands. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Stukeley, our first assembly of 2022. It's normally a reading assembly on a Wednesday, but because we've not seen each other for quite a long time, we're just gonna say welcome, and we're gonna talk about new things. For each other, we, every day we, to improve we, together we will. Every single Stukely day we focus on our Stukely motto is our Stukely curriculum is our Stukely plan for home learning is Four words that make the magic happen. Yes, they do. Right, welcome back everybody. Um, I've missed you. I mean, I haven't missed coming in this garage when it's freezing cold. I, I must start to do more assemblies in school. Anyway, I haven't missed this, but I've missed you all. Your teachers have missed you all. All the staff in school, we've missed you. It's good to be back. If you're watching this in school, I hope you had a really good Christmas time. It won't have been happy for everyone. So if you want to talk about any sadness or anything, frustrations, or just you just wanna talk about things, please find somebody in school to do that. If you're watching this from home, because you're poorly or you've got to isolate, hi, hope to see you back in school soon. I hope you also had got some happy memories from the last couple of weeks. Um, <sighs> Okay, it's our first assembly back. I don't want to give you too much new information, but this time every year, I talk about New Year's resolutions. New things that we're gonna try and do, different things that we're gonna try and do to be better people. Things we're gonna to try to do to get our best even better every single day. I'm gonna give you a few new bits today. There's also going to be lots of old traditional bits that you remember. Um, who can remember that word when you um, talk about something that happened in the past and you talk about it happily? Can anybody remember that word? Nostalgic. We're going to do lots of traditional nostalgic things that we used to do not that long ago. We're going to do them again today just to welcome you back. Before any of that though, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not talking about the new stuff yet. Mr. Jones, will you? Anyway, before we start talking about new stuff, uh, we need to get assembly behaviours going. I really hope you've been walking into your classroom in silence. I hope you've been moving around the school in silence. I hope that you have shown uh, really good learning behaviours already. Now I'm going to remind you about assembly learning behaviours. So I need you sitting up. I need you listening. I need you to answer or ask any questions that you need to in this assembly. Note your resources. You don't need anything today. There's nothing you need. And finally, you need to track the speaker. The speaker is me. You've not had to track me for a couple of weeks or more. So please do that today. Um, okay, now it's time. We're gonna talk about all things, woohoo, new. Right, first of all, do you know what I did on New Year's Day? Do you know what I did on January the 1st? I went on the WhatsApp and I WhatsApped all my friends. Happy New Year! Hey, Happy New Year! Woohoo! 2022! Yee! I also sent all of the um, uh, Stukely staff, all the teachers and the TAs in the office, I sent them all a message to the WhatsApp group and said, Happy New Year, everyone at Stukely. I've got some new songs for assembly. Mr. Watley then made a big mistake. Mr. Watley then said, 
Uh-oh, I got another new coat for Christmas. There better not be a song. Well, what are we gonna do, everyone? It's brand new. We're gonna sing a song for Mr. Watley. It goes, who's got a brand new coat on? Who's got a brand new coat on? Who's got a brand new coat on? Who's got a brand new coat? And then you point to Mr. Watley, you. Who's got a brand new coat? You. If you're in Mr. Watley's class right now, you point at Mr. Watley. If you're not in Mr. Watley's class, can you quickly work out where he is in the school? You can do that with your teachers. Try and work, be a good little uh, map. Mrs. Stevens be proud of this little map exercise. Work out where Mr. Watley is in the building and then point to where he is, okay? Yeah, that'll do. Here we go. Who's got a brand new coat on? Who's got a brand new coat on? Who's got a brand new coat on? Who's got a brand new coat? You! Who's got a brand new coat on? Who's got a brand new coat on? Who's got a brand new coat on? Who's got a brand new coat? You! Oh, brilliant start. Really good start. Um, okay, that's our first new thing. Secondly, um, you've noticed I've got my Christmas cracker hat on. Don't forget, it's a single Terry Christmas game. Who can keep their cracker hat on the longest? I've had this on for a long time. To be fair, it's getting on my nerves a bit. Anyway, there's the crack. I didn't do my hair any good either. I need a, need a haircut. Anyway, um, I've already said I hope you've had a good Christmas time. Uh, talk about happy things. Talk about not so happy things. You can share things in school if you need to. I'm really looking forward to us all being back in the building, working hard, being kind, and really, really focusing on getting our best better. That's really important to me. Okay, we've talked about Mr. Watley's coat. That's the first new thing. Second new thing, I hope he's getting excited because we've got two brand new shows this year. The first one is How Long Will It Take to Be Triumphant? We're mashing two shows together. It starts next week. It's going to be every Friday. The first one is next week. And you, in your classes, in your homes, you have to tell me how long something's going to take and which person in the video is going to be triumphant. We're going to do the scores again. We're going to do the scores. Um, I haven't worked out the scoring yet, but we're going to do all the year groups against each other because I know how much you love that. So that's what's going to happen. Um, the other brand new show, I haven't quite worked it out yet. What I can tell you is the other new show is going to be called Stukely Comes Dancing. Yeah, not Strictly Come Dancing, Stukely Comes Dancing. The, I know what you're thinking, it's going to be Mr. Smith. Dan no, it's not just Mr. Smith. I've got a plan. It might not start just yet, but when it does start, it's going to be great. And it's a little guessing, it's a little guessing game, a little challenge for you all. Okay, so they're two brand new things that are coming this year. Um, Mrs. Stevens has got brand new experts coming on to talk to you. Looking forward to that. We're going to have brand new books in our reading assemblies. We're going to have brand new retrieval quizzes every Thursday, and everyday knowledge is also going to be brand new. It was Claudia in year six who said to me just before Christmas, are we gonna kind of start from, forget that bit and start again from somewhere else? I said, yes, so I'm doing this one you club, Claudia. Every time it comes on, you've given me the inspiration for this. Um, just checking my uh, list of new things. Oh, yes, now. Uh, gonna tell you a very quick story and then it's gonna lead into something else that's brand new um, for the next few weeks. Now. Do you remember? No, you don't. Of course you don't. You weren't here. Anyway, when I was first head teacher at Stukeley Meadows uh, in 2013, yeah, before lots of you were born, when I first um, became the head teacher at Stukeley, I spent about five or six weeks talking about good manners. And Mrs. Stevens remembers this. I was talking to her about it before Christmas. I used in every assembly I talked about good manners and I wrote them all down and stuck them on the wall behind me and we talked lots about saying please and thank you we talked lots about opening doors for people we talked lots about apologizing when you've done something wrong before somebody tells you to apologize uh, we talked about um, what I call thanking a thank you so when somebody says thank you and you say oh you're welcome it kind of we talked lots about that. We talked about um, tidying away. 
clearing away without being asked to do it. Uh, we also talked about just saying good morning or good afternoon to people. It's just good manners, it's polite. Anyway, something happened before Christmas. I haven't shared this with you, I haven't told you this because it still feels quite raw. But just before Christmas, uh, one of the classes in school, I'm not gonna tell you who it was, one of the classes in school were walking through the corridors. They were walking, I think, maybe to music or back from music or walking to the library or the ICT suite. Anyway, a class were walking through school and we had a visitor in school. So a visitor had come in to school and the visitor stood at the door because there was a, you know when you walk up to a door and only one person can go through it, an open, open gap, an open door. The visitor stood and waited and every single child in the class walked past. Now, think how long the visitor had to wait. One visitor had to wait for 30 children to walk past. Now, I think you all know what should have happened. One of the children should have stopped. So one child should have waited and then the one visitor could have walked through. It would have been much quicker. Anyway, the class forgot to wait for the visitor because that's polite. Um, and what? And, and the teacher that was there said to me, we just need to remind each other, we need to talk about being kind and having good manners. So I'm gonna stop my little story there. Um, basically over the next few weeks, we're gonna talk about four things, I've got four fingers, four things that I think are the most important manners to remember. That's what I think they are, okay? I've already given year four a sneaky idea about what these are. I've given them a little bit, oh, hang on, I've got low battery on my phone. A little thing came up. Anyway, uh, year four, know what these are. There are four, I think, four of the, the easiest good manners things to think about. I'm gonna be talking to you about them over the next few weeks. Um, the only clue I'm going to give you is the first letter of each one. So you all need to remember this word. The word is PADS. P-A-D-S. PADS. That word is going to remind you all about the four most important, be kind, manasy type things that I want you to remember. They're not new. You know all of them. You'll know all of them. But I've just made them feel new so we can get some great manners back into Stukely. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. We're, we're not going to have a long assembly today because I want you to get stuck back into learning. But before we do birthdays and everyday knowledge, one last thing. One last thing. I know I've given you lots of info. I know I have, but this is good. Um, over Christmas, I found out about a brand new word game. An internet word game called Wordle. Now, some of you might have seen it over Christmas. It's been around for ages, but over Christmas, when lots of adults had a bit more time on their hands, I think we all got into it more. It's a game called Wordle. You have to guess a five letter word and you get clues to help you. It's really easy. Adults can play it every day on the internet. There's one a day and it changes each day, um, but you can also play your own version in class. Now, if you're in year three, four, five, six, I definitely think you can play this once or twice a week. It's just good, it's just good for the brain, good for thinking and for memory and for your letters and your sounds. Um, Foundation Year One and Two could play a version of it, but it's mainly for older children. Anyway, it's called Wordle. I'm telling you about it now because I might do a bit of it in assembly, but I also think your teachers can do it in class. I think it would be great. Okay, right, that's it. We're now gonna finish off with birthdays and everyday knowledge. Let's do this. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, so we've already celebrated some birthdays in January. Um, hopefully, if it was your birthday, you haven't forgotten. But just before, just before we broke up for Christmas, I said happy birthday to uh, Milo, Max, Rory, Konstantinos. I said happy birthday to all of those boys, but it's still the first day back in school today. So I hadn't said happy birthday for today to Eli in foundation stage. Happy birthday, Eli. Um, 
I'm not sure if it's great coming back to school on your birthday or not. At least you can see all your friends. I hope you've had lots of celebrating over Christmas and New Year time. Celebrate with your friends today. Happy birthday, Eli, five years old. Brilliant feeling. Okay, right, we're going to finish off with everyday knowledge for, um, uh, for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Everyday knowledge for you. Oh, yes. Okay, um, I know that Claudia wants it to be brand new, but I did say, if you remember, Claudia, and everyone else, I did say that when we came back after two weeks off, I would do the old stuff to see if you've remembered. Now, I'm not sure if any of you watched Assemblies back over Christmas. I mean, you'd be crazy if you did. But if you did watch them back, this knowledge would still be there really fresh. Most of you will have not done everyday knowledge for over two weeks. So you should really have forgotten lots of it it should have kind of be stuck in a schema somewhere it should be stuck in your long-term memory we're now going to bring it all back into your working memory this is exciting let's see how much you know right okay how many seconds in a minute that's right 60 how many minutes in an hour that's right 60 how many hours in a day that's right 24 how many days in a week Seven, that's right. Now, how many days in a month? Oh, this is tricky. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. How many days do most of the other months have? 31, that's right. Apart from which month has 28 days, sometimes 29? February, that's right. Absolutely brilliant. How many... um? Millimetres in a centimetre? Ten, yes. How many centimetres in a metre? One hundred, correct. How many metres in a kilometre? One thousand. How many kilometres in a mile? One point six. Absolutely correct. Okay. How many grams in a kilogram? That's right, a thousand. How many kilograms in a ton? That's correct, 1,000. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna jump over here. Oh, crikey, just stood on something. Um, uh, one, of, one, one of my daughter's scooters just stood on it. Anyway, you're not interested in that. Oh, it's a couple of bits of artwork. Now, what I'd like to know is, this bit of artwork here close to me, I'd like to know the artist and the name of the piece and then the other artist and the name of the piece. So this one first, then the other one. Well done. Vincent van Gogh, Starry Night. Edvard Munch, The Scream. Very good. Okay, slide back over here. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to go through the geography and the countries. I'm not going to go through numbers. I'm not going to go through dates. They're going to come tomorrow and then next week, Claudia and the rest of you are going to be so pumped for brand new everyday knowledge. It's going to be incredible. Have a good rest of the day. It's good to see you all. Can't wait to get back on it tomorrow.